everybody, Lorraine Gorilla here with Video Production Tips, and today I am going to take you through a tour of Windows Movie Maker and show you how it works. Now, I will also say that if you do not have Windows Movie Maker, but you have some other kind of program, if you're a beginner, this tutorial will still help you because video editing programs are more alike than they are different for the most part. So, the first thing I want to talk about, and I think this is the thing that gets more people about video editing than anything else, is I want to explain to you everything that you're looking at on the screen here, okay? Because no genre of computer software has as much going on the screen as video editing does, and I think that confuses the holy heck out of people. Because basically what you have here are a whole lot of different functioning windows that work together, but then very separately. So you have to know what each window does, and you have to know how that functions into the whole of video editing. And when you're editing, you go from one window to the next, to the next, to the next, depending on what you want to do, okay? So, here in the upper left, this is the task pane, all right, which you can get rid of it if you want, or you can put it back up there if you want and you don't need it the entire time you're editing so it's often wise to get rid of it but in the very beginning all of the tasks that you want to do like capture video import your pictures whatever all of those things are here in the task pane all right now here in the middle at the top right now what we're looking at they call it collections collections is a term for all of the components that i've put into this project right now this is a bunch of still pictures and some music, all right? And it, everything shows here. Okay, we don't need to listen to that music. All right, now, but here again, what's gonna confuse you is that this one portion of the screen can not only be collections, but if you click up there, or over here, you can make it be the transitions. Each one of these little blue icons is a video transition, a digital effect that'll take you from one shot to the next, all right? But then this exact same portion of the screen can also show you what they call effects, all right? If you want to make it brighter, darker, fade in, fade out, make it look old, make it look pink, all of these things are called video effects. And there you go. It's here in the exact same portion as the collections. So depending on what you're doing at the exact moment, that would be when you'd have, um, you change from one window to the next, all right? Now, over here, this is like a little uh, TV monitor, okay? It shows you what's in the other windows, okay? It'll show you what's either in the timeline or it can show you what's in the collections. If you're on video transitions, it'll show you the video transition. There you go. That's the bow tie uh, wipe. It'll also show you the effects. If you want to uh, see what the effect is, you just double click it. And there you go. You're fading the black. Okay. Here's another one. If you want to make it look kind of old, like old film, you can use that effect. All right. So double clicking them and then they will show in your little output monitor here all right now the bottom half of the screen is all one thing okay and in movie maker it can either show you uh, the timeline which is what I have in here now or it can also show you what's called a storyboard which is the timeline and the storyboard are both visual representations of your movie they're just different visual representations. You mostly work in the timeline. That's where you build your movie. What you do in video editing, no matter what program you're working in, is you take all of the elements that you've put into the project, all the video clips, all the audio clips, all the still pictures, all the graphic elements, whatever you have in your project, you take those and then you build your movie in the timeline by putting what you want where, okay? Now let me explain that a little bit more. Look here again at this timeline and see all these labels here. You got video, transition, audio, audio music, title overlay. All right? Basically, the timeline is separated into several different lines. All right? And you have to put each element where it belongs. You don't put music in the video timeline or line. And you don't 
output transitions in the video timeline. Well, it's not in this program. Some programs should do. But each line is for separate elements. If you go up here to your collections, and here I've got this gorgeous picture of my sweet little daughter, who's now in college. But anyway, if I want to use this picture in my movie, I take it from the collections bin, and I can drag it down here, okay? Now it's in my movie, and I can watch it here in the timeline, all right? Now, I take this other picture of me and my sweet little baby, and I put it down here, all right? So if I take it and play it, I can show how it goes from one image to the next. And basically, the process of editing is to put all of these things in your timeline where you want them, mix them together properly, use transitions if you want, use effects if you want, and all of those things. You build them in the timeline and then you, when you're done, when you're satisfied with what you have, you take your timeline and you take everything that's in the timeline and you convert it into one file. When you're building your movie, it's made up of dozens of different files, all your different clips. And you can't put it up on the internet that way. In order to put it up on the internet or give it to somebody or show it to somebody or whatever, you have to take it and put it into one file. And those are what's known as the sharing files. And those would be QuickTime, MPEG-4, WMV, FLV. Those are all sharing files. That is taking all of the different elements of your movie and turning it into one file that can then not be changed. All right? So I'm going to take this back real quick to video transitions. And like I said, video transitions is something, this is the digital effect that will show when you go from one picture to the next. So let's take this little uh, dither dissolve, that's what that's called, and I'm going to put it here between these two pictures. All right, so see, it shows up here on the timeline under transitions. You can see this little icon here. That's the dither, dither, dither dissolve. All right. So as you play it, boo, and then it goes from one to the other, all right? And in a nutshell, that is video editing. And like I said, no matter what program you're using, they're more alike than they are different. Things may be in a different order, but you're essentially going to have the same basic elements because video editing is the process of taking all of these different functions and making them all work together, all right? I hope that makes sense. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, as always, drop me a line at videoproductiontips at gmail.com. Thanks. Good night.